Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do a double crochet stitch. I'll show you how to do a slip knot. Now if you're a complete beginner you can just take your yarn and you can just tie your yarn onto your hook like this. Completely acceptable. No trouble at all. If you want to be a little bit more professional, to do a slip knot, just wrap the yarn around your fingers and across like this. Take your hook under the loop and pull the yarn through. And then just tighten it up onto your hook. I'll show you that again. Just wrap the yarn around your fingers, put your hook underneath this one, that's your tail, pull your yarn through and tighten it on to your hook. Don't do it too tight, you can just simply tie a knot as well. To do a chain, this stitch on your hook is always called a loop, it's not a stitch, it's a loop. Yarn over your hook and pull through that loop. That makes your first stitch. We're going to do a foundation chain. Yarn over your hook and pull through that loop. Makes another stitch. Yarn over and pull through. You just do this the way that's comfortable. I'm going to make myself a foundation chain. Any number of chains will do. So I've got my foundation chain. What we're going to do is we're going to work into the fourth stitch in the chain. Do not count the loop on your hook. You're going to count one, two, three and down to the fourth link in your chain. Put your yarn over and go through that fourth stitch. Just push through, pull your yarn through, yarn over your hook, come through the first two loops, yarn over your hook, and come through the second two loops. So those three stitches that we missed become your first double crochet and you've made your second double crochet. So we're going to the next stitch in the chain. Yarn over your hook and go through the next stitch. Pull your yarn through, yarn over your hook Keep your loops in the work area of your hook. So yarn over and you'll pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is how you do a double crochet. Yarn over again. Remember your yarn over and go into your next stitch. Pull through. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over and through two loops. Now when I go into the stitch, it looks like a V and it's got this little tail coming out. I go right into the corner of the stitch and it catches two loops of that stitch. It holds your foundation row better when you do it like that. You don't need to do it like that. You can just scoop up one loop if you want. A lot of people just scoop up one loop. It's up to you. You can either scoop up one or you can go right into the corner and have two parts of that chain on your hook. I like to have two parts. It seems to give a straighter edge along the bottom. And this is how you do a double crochet. When you get to your last stitch, 
put your hook through your last stitch. That will usually be your slip knot or the one that you tied on. We do chain three. One, two, three and turn. Now with a double crochet, you don't go right into that stitch. If you go into there, you'll start increasing. You only go into that little stitch there when you're doing a single crochet. When you're doing a double crochet, skip that one right at the bottom of your chain and go to the next one. This is where a lot of people end up with too many stitches in their work because they go right into that bottom one. On a double crochet, you'll skip that space there and go into the next stitch. So yarn over and into the next stitch all the way along. When you get to the end and you have that chain, count one, two, three stitches in the chain and put your last double crochet into the top of that chain. Now remember and work that chain. Again, a lot of people forget to do that and they end up with an uneven edge. Chain three, one, two, three and turn. Now skip that space and go to the next stitch. Yarn over, so not that one, go into this one. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops and your chain makes your first double crochet. Yarn over through your stitch, through two loops, yarn over through two loops. Yarn over into the next stitch and work your double crochet. And this is what you get, a nice straight edge and a nice even stitch. 